One, apologies for absence. I think we're all here. And declarations of interest. I think that everything's fine. And three, Morantum Development Limited, design procurement. Chris Lee. So, firstly, apologies for having to call the next room meeting. Um, but it is good news in that we've got such significant interest in the architectural design for the first three sites that Morantum is seeking to develop. And it was just to ensure that we could progress at pace uh, in the event of those uh, submissions being beyond the threshold that's already delegated to officers or to the shareholder and myself to deal with. So we wanted to, given that we're right in the midst of that procurement process, uh, seek that delegation. We had 44 companies that expressed interest in the architectural design. Uh, six uh, were invited to submit tenders. We're right in the midst of that uh, evaluation process present and we'll conclude that uh, before the Christmas break. Um, we didn't want there to be any delay subsequently uh, and so I thought it was wise to seek that delegation this evening so that we can crack on in the new year chair uh, and progress with this and then report back subsequently on the results uh, to the scheduled meeting in 2019. Thank you very much and thank you for calling this meeting to expedite progress. Any contributions from the councillors uh, Martin Welton and or Mark Allison? Councillor Welt. I just say a quick few brief words, Chair. Obviously, I think it's very welcome that we've had this level of interest in terms um, of um, the design and appointing um, Company 44. Um, it's a lot to express their interest. This is a key priority um, in terms of developing these sites, uh, the four sites in the borough, and it shows that you know, we're a go ahead council and we want to ensure that these sites um, are developed and that um, that work continues to pace and it's important as a council that um, we um, act quickly in terms of this. I think it's right that this report has been brought before um, the Development Limited Subcommittee um, tonight um, for decision. I think it's important that um, we actually um, approve uh, the recommendations within that report. Thank you. Councillor Anderson. Yeah, it's just a concern about uh, Sites are detailed in the agenda papers. Um, uh, Farm Road Church, Warm Land at the Canons, Mitchum, Elm Nursery, Mitchum, and Rand Gardens, Mitchum. And just I keep asking this question, it's important for us to remind ourselves that we're the only borough with such a subcommittee. Uh, no, I know of um, a number of authorities that have uh, similar governance arrangements and uh, over a hundred local authorities are either, uh, have either established a local authority company or in the process of doing so, so it's a, a tried and tested method to increase supply and, and assist in the financial challenge that we face. Thank you for that. Uh, can I have my thanks to the expedition of uh, the programme here and my pleasure at uh, the level of interest amongst our architecture community. So we're on uh, uh, item A that the subcommittee delegates authority to the head shareholder representative, the director of environment and energy regeneration, namely Chris Lee, in consultation with the chair, and namely myself, the Morantum Bill and Subcommittee, to approve the award of the Morantum Limited Architectural Design Contract Contracts. Is that agreed? Thank you very much. That concludes our meeting, and good night and good bye.